Hello, my name is Kara, and today we're going to be talking about bearded dragons. So this here is Sherlock. He is, of course, a bearded dragon. Probably their most famous feature is that nice black beard. So he won't do it unless he's mad, but if he were to get mad, he'd puff it out. It's full of spikes, and he'd nod his head really hard. So that's a territorial display. Let other bearded dragons know that this is his house. You'll see these spikes all the way down his side here. So these are um, scales, so specialized scales that have evolved to keep him nice and safe. So if a threat were to come, and Sherlock here is native to Australia, so there's plenty of large things there, he would puff out, make himself a really big spiky boy, and then he'd be a real uncomfortable mouthful for some predator. You can see he's got nice little claws on his toes that can aid him as well. Pretty sharp and spiky. So these guys are omnivorous. They're going to eat both plants and meat. So specifically, they're going to like to hunt bugs and things like that here at the museum. Sherlock is happy on a diet of crickets. These guys are pretty social animals. They are known for a variety of behaviors, including that head bobbing. Ooh, a little wiggly. Including their head bobbing, as well as waving. So these guys have been known to wave their arms, kind of like a hello, to let other bearded dragons know that it's their territory. These guys are fairly popular as pets because of that social aspect. And you can see Sherlock here, a little wiggly, pretty active. These guys need quite a bit of enrichment, things to do, things to play with, things to investigate. Bearded dragons love going outside, getting some sun, smelling some things. He blends in pretty well in his natural environment. So he's got a nice tannish grayish color, helps him look like a rock, and if need be, he can actually turn darker, both to help him look a little bit more blended in and also to help him absorb some sun rays. So like all reptiles, Sherlock here is ectothermic or cold-blooded. That means he can't monitor his own temperature, he can't regulate it. He needs to change his temperature based on the temperature around him. So when he's hot, he'll go inside, kind of under a rock in a little burrow to cool down. And when he's cold, he'll sit out in the sun. All right, so that is our friend Sherlock, our bearded dragon. Hope you guys enjoyed.